Poet! Poet. Poet! 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 There's no poet. You know what I mean? Oh. Wanna do a show? Comments below. Copper 90. Nice to meet you, man. David. Yeah, come. Let's do it. Yeah. Wash my hands. Nice, no, right? No, 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 no. I'm gonna do a little show talking about football. We like football? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, mate, just yeah, let me take a jacket, let me take a jacket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, decent, decent, well decent. Yeah, mate. Yeah, have a seat, have a seat, have a seat, mate. <clears throat> yeah. There we are. Hello, Copper fam. I am Poet, and this wonderful man next to me is... Fujanik. And this is the show where we... <laughs> I forgot the intro. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Copper fam. My name is Poet, and this is... Fujanik. And this is the show where you leave your comments below, where some of them are... Mm. And some of them are. Woo! And there's an epic moment in this show that only goes. Comments of the week. Is that it? It's not, is it? <laughs> is that? It. It's comments. Oh, and we discuss last week's comments and any other business. Yes. On today's show, we have obviously got what a guy. We've got a bit of a teaser of FIFA and show with Akin Fenbar. Mm. But we're going to start with the Prem Games. But obviously, this isn't Poet. Poet is actually on holiday enjoying the sunshine Lapping and the it up. beaches. This man here is Steve-O, the madman. A massive, massive hammer. Massive on the Snapchat. You've got to check him out. I'm guessing his name on will pop up now. Somewhere on the screen. That is his Snapchat. Go follow him on his Twitter as well. It's all in the description below. Ooh, but mate, okay. let's talk Premier League. It's from Bob Nocky, who says, Of course Leicester can win the league. Will they is a different question. But mate, was it a pen? The Vardy one, was it a pen? The first one? It was a pen because you get caught up, you touch, like you contact in the box. Thank you. It's a pen. If a defender makes a stupid decision in the box and the player goes down, or even you touch a player, then that's your, the defender's fault. And as a manager, I would have a go at the defender saying, you're an idiot. Leicester were looking very good in a counter attack. And what I loved is they were Let's going for it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even with 10 men, Vardy's up there. He wasn't defending. Yeah, don't really. so You've got to give it to Ranieri. Uh, and an Arsenal in the end, Danny Robert, mate. Bloody, he cried as well, gave it a little tear. Mares, what do you think of Mares? This season, he's been fantastic. And the only I even think against Arsenal, he showed a good game. You see my thing? I'm a big thing on, there's, you've got form, and then you've got quality. So, Mares now, Ooh. I know he's done, it, uh, he's done it last year as well. If he does it next year, then I'm saying he's a baller, yeah. But I mean, like Ertzel, you know, if you compare th those two seasons, you've got, do you think Ertzel then is... Is someone who then holds that consistent quality. Hundred you know? percent, because I'll go back now. Before Arsenal, mm. he was top assist guy. Come to Arsenal, batted it up. Then had a little period where it wasn't too great. Now he's picked it up again. So if you're asking me, is he a quality player? He's a quality player. I remember Andy Johnson scoring 20 goals in the Premiership. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Michael Ritz Ricketts scoring 20 goals Where's in the Premiership. Ricketts? Where's Michael Ricketts now? Where's Leon Knight? Yeah, oh, I hope you ain't Leon Knight. Best finisher, I played against Leon, played against Defoe. Leon Knight was the best finisher I have ever seen. Are you serious? Ever seen. What, what level did you play with him? <clears throat> I used to play QPR, played, done my bit. Yeah, you didn't know this. Yeah, nah. Go, I can Google that. From one North London team to the other, big massive rivals. We've got a comment here from Matt Percy who says, Are Spurs serious title contenders? I can see this season ending on a mad team. That Man City game though, when they went 1-1, in a year, Yacho, bangs mm -hmm. the top base. Love that, love that kid, by the way. That kid is very passionate. Yeah. I haven't seen that much passion in Man City since Aguero and that yeah, goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? That's what I feel Man City lack. On the pitch, Tottenham wanted that. Yeah, 100%. And when Ericsson's in that position, he's putting it away. Yeah, and you know what as well? Like, you can have the best players in the world in one team, but if they've got no drive, no heart, that, all, that takes away 30% of your football ability. <clears throat> I'd rather a Vardy, who's got half the ability of all these people, yeah, yeah, but yeah. every single game for 90 minutes, Mate, you know what you're going to get? Special mention to Kante. Oh, bad I know way. we spoke, spoke about Leicester, but that Kante game, he was playing centre mid, right mid, left mid. The, the run for that ball to Vardy's penalty, that's what you want, the passion mm. and the drive. And that's why Leicester are still top. Man City, fourth. Man City Spurs, though. Right. What did you think of the game? What, what was that never a penalty. That was never I feel a for Raheem. I don't feel for him at all. Not because of the penalty, because of his hair. You know what I mean? When you're looking like jumping, huh? Are you coming like Whoopi Goldberg for? Never a pen. It's jumped up. Hit his ribs. <clears throat> Hit him there, there, man. So. I wasn't expecting Spurs to, to get the winner. Have Spurs got a drive that Man City haven't? Yeah. 
Big up the Man City fans doing a walkout. Um, it was 1-1. One, one. Um, Mugs! They did, did an 85th minute walkout. Um, loads of empty seats. I hope that you get what you deserve and your ticket prices are lowered. Yeah, man. Big up Man City fans, wherever you are anyway. In it? <laughs> Premier League. So now it's heated up extra. The kettle is boiling. You're about to pour it into the tea. You're about to pick your tea. But which tea are you going to pick? Arsenal, Man City, Tottenham or Leicester? It burns me. And West Ham fans don't get mad. But you know I can see pushing on? Tottenham. I was doing accumulator, who would let me down? Arsenal would probably let me down. Leicester, because I just don't know. Is it going to continue? Is it not going to continue? Okay. Okay. Tottenham, for me, looks solid. And Man City, you just don't know. You guys, please tell us who is going to win the league. It's two points between three teams. You've got Man City lurking in fourth. Who's going to win it? Hashtag champions and tell us. I have a little vote. Yeah, man. Before we go into the rest of the Prem games and a bit more footy, here's a little teaser of FIFA and Chill with the beast himself, Akin Fenwa. The video is coming out on Thursday. Tease it. Hey, you're ready, mate! Oh. Hey, all right, all right, all right, all right. We got the pancakes. All right, all right. Wait, all right. Flip, 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 you, you're eating that, fam. Huh? That's, that's, that's for him, that's for him. That's three yeah, yeah, seconds. Yeah, yeah, that's one for you, bro. I say no more, guys. If Tony's are ready, why don't we do a little FIFA and Chill? Beast. I used to play with him. Play with him? Yeah. Like Leighton really? Orient. Um, he came over from Lithuania. He was in Lithuania? He played in Lithuania. Mate, he's travelled. At Leighton Orient, he was a beast still. Beast. Not as big as he is now, but he was a beast. And when he come in the dressing room, you're looking at him, he come with his big chain and like, he looked like a hip-hop star. <laughs> no, no, he looked like 50 Cent, yeah? You come in, you're thinking, who's this guy? When you see him run for the ball, I was like... Is there pies in the ball? Like, you're thinking, like, you know, like, <laughs> like, like, Jesus, like... Let's talk a bit about Liverpool. I mean, they had the ticket fiasco. Mm -hmm. The fans walked out 77th minute. I saw a lot of shit on, on social media, of a fellow football fan saying, eh, why don't they, why didn't they just not turn up? Why didn't they just do anything? Did you see the impact it's, it's had? Yeah, fair play. The, the club have frozen the prices, they've met up, and the fans have won. This is a massive victory for football fans. Yeah. And the power of unity within the groups of football fans. If we join up and say, no, I'm not going to come to your Champions League game, these sponsors, can't have empty yeah. seats. Even if you're walking out, to them that shows, okay, we're fucking up here. But for me, you have to do the Bayern unit model. Be a championship winning club, respect your fans, set very low prices, mm -hmm. and get your money from elsewhere. T-shirts, shirts, games in Thailand, all that bullshit. Mm. Don't, don't, don't take it out on the fans. West Ham could have raised their prices going into a new stadium, yeah. but we didn't. You get me? And uh, as I say, for, for two million, four million, whatever it works out at the 77 end. 77 quid? Nothing. It's, it's a drop Rose in the ocean, yeah. So. Really, I think that's absolute, absolute bullshit. You guys, yeah, leave your comments about ticket prices. What do you think? Um, Terrible. I think it's a massive victory, massive victory. But another victory. Tidus Westfield says Aston Villa zero, Liverpool six. Any chance of Villa now? Thoughts? Villa were bad. You know bad. what? I forgot. I was like, yo, it's 6 0, Sturridge is back. I'm like, yes, banging it. Continuous back, banging it. We're linking up. I'm like, oh wait, it was against Aston Villa. Yeah. <laughs> bottom of the league. The bottom of the Premier League, mate. Newcastle got battered. Sunderland beat United. David De Gea finally fucks up. Bloody yo. Took him a while. Norwich, West Ham, 2 2. Down there is looking tense. Bournemouth as well. In the mix. <sighs> and look at Bournemouth, you'd say they've had a good season. Who would be going down there? Villa, they are dog poo. I'm yeah. sorry, like. At least go on the pitch and try. So Villa for me. Newcastle. You go through their team on paper, it's unbelievable. And you look at the players, they're not putting it in, man. So Villa, Newcastle. Norwich. Norwich. West Brom staying up. Are we saying staying up? I'd like West Brom to go down for like just to show everyone, look, this guy here that you're saying should be an England manager. That is. Like pfft. But you guys, <laughs> relegation, who's gonna get relegated? Hashtag relegation and tell me. It's Euros around the corner. Hyundai are rewarding the real fans first. They are giving you the chance to give something back to your local team, groundsman, tea lady, with free £5,000 grants to go to deserving footballing causes. Entries are opening to England, Wales, Ireland and Scotland. People can tweet a story to the hashtag, hashtag real fans first, and entries close Monday the 29th of February. Nominate your someone or a club you think deserves the £5,000 grant. Examples like new posts, pie oven, team bus or a man cave to watch the Euros in would be a good place to start. Good luck. Now it's that time of the show and we talk to the millions and millions of Copa Nighty fans <laughs> all over the world from YouTube, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Grinder. It's that epic moment 
in the show that can only be described in Malaysian. Aslan Mingo Inni. Perfect. Yeah. So Barcelona, Harry von Warden said, there's got a method to throw a penalty. Class. <laughs> Did you see the penalty? Yeah. It was uh, amazing. Can Piss we, take. Can we have a round of applause, yeah. everyone? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's going on a hat trick. That guy, man, you bet you're missing him. Liverpool. Don't stop. But you did say that if he was to come back to anywhere, he'd go back to Liverpool. Bullshit. You know what we have now? Double giveaway time! Wow. Not one thing, two! We do have a sign re soccer shirt. Pow! From FIFA and Chill. I want it. We're going to go through that. But first, we have an iPad. Or should I call it an iPood? So we asked you guys to fill out a survey about what you think about Copper 90, what you want to see in comments below. And we have a random winner. For some reason, I don't think our tech crew picked this randomly. I just... So we have uh, the lovely Danica here. Uh, student. Right, says says... Danica, boy. <clears throat> or watching sports. Um, joined Twitter in September 2011. Her Instagram is also live. So if you guys want to give her a cheeky follow. Decent, Go man. for it. Decent. Congratulations, Danica. You have won an iPad Air and... Um, yeah, I hope is it gold? Too many people following you on Instagram. But that's limited edition, you know. Serious. But now we have a West Ham giveaway. Um, we're picking a comment from the FIFA and Chill video we've done with Reese Oxford. He signed the shirt. I'm gonna let you do this. Yeah, I was not. Can I pick? Yeah. So Go you on. listen to the comments. One that rings in your. Hang ear. on, now. I want it to be a West Ham fan that gets it, but we might have one. You don't know. You don't know. You don't Bro. know. Let's go through and. Well, really give it to a Tottenham fan and he burns it. I'll get mad, rude boy. Mad, isn't it? I'll get so mad. Tommy Morgan, imagine the look on any young fella's face when Reesey Boy takes them out for a cheeky Nando's, goes to pay for the bill, and instead of pulling his wallet out of his pocket, he whips out Meza Ertzel, who goes up to the counter <laughs> and starts booting up tasty treats to all the customers on a silver platter. Hashtag scenes, hashtag what a guy, hashtag shirt. Funny. Can I, is there more? Can I? No, there's more, there's more, there's more. I'll, I'll store Aye, that, twisties. that's great. I need a shirt because it's the same colour as my wallpaper and I can camouflage when my mum comes in screaming. That's, that's nice. I'll do this, I've got black wallpaper, go on. <laughs> Arsenal fan official. I should get this shirt because I had to suffer through watching Reese destroy Arsenal for 90 minutes. Wait, no. Shut up. Oh, Shut enough. up. Tom Nom Nom. I deserve the shirt because I've been going to West Ham since 11 and I've had a season ticket all these years. All good and the bad. And even had to see Gerrard's go against us in the FA Cup. Oh, my, sorry. That's when my little girl, that was, that was her first West Ham game. I, had, I got her in a shirt. That's brought back memories, man. And he's been there. He's been there. And we're going to the new stadium next year. Forgetting all of that, I'm giving it to him. That's how I've picked. Tom Nom Nom. nom, nom. <laughs> you win the sign, Reese Socks shirt. Please check your YouTube inbox because we're going to be asking you for your address. If you don't give us your address, well, he's going to have the shirt. So, oh, hey, don't, respond. don't. <laughs> but you guys, thank you for all your comments. Mm. By now, it's probably my favourite section of the show. What, what a guy! guy! Hashtag what a guy. Me, because I scored a hat trick of three yard screamers in a Sunday league match and everyone called me Pele, who scores three screamers. Oh. That was a nice attempt at reading. <laughs> this one's from Plisco. Nine-year-old lad called Jules Shaw, who is disabled, what? has been awarded January Goal of the Month by Everton Football Club ahead of Ross Barkley and Aaron Lennon. I remember seeing that. Oh, was it a good goal? It was unbelievable Seriously? scenes. He was a little kid. He um, had bad legs, like he hobbled, but he scored. And all the crowd went crazy. No way. It, uh, literally, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a wet guy. And so am I. that was a good moment, man. That was a good moment. I do remember that. I have a little cry here. I love that. I always feel like, is it even worth reading everyone else? George Shaw, uh, you're an absolute legend. This week, you are. What, what a guy. guy! So, guys, keep leaving your what a guys for next week. Hashtag what a guy. Thank you very much. But now we move on to the best comments of the week. Joe Smedzi, Fords and Derby sacking Paul Clement because of the brand of football being played, despite only losing five games this season. Yeah, terrible, terrible. Manuel Adamo, my dick was once in the Guinness Book of the Records. Then I was asked to leave the library. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Oh, no! <laughs> oh. Well! We are at the end of the show, Steve. We have to go. But you guys, please leave a comment. Who's going to win the league? Will Leicester do it? Can Arsenal do it? Will Man City make a little cheeky comeback? Who's going to get relegated? Will Newcastle get relegated? Mitrovic watch might have to go forever. Boys, Ertzel, Mares, leave your comments below. Steve, mm -hmm. it's been a pleasure. Follow Steve. Check out all of his stuff. Mm -hmm. Links are in the description below. Like, comment. Thanks for having me, man.